Hey guys. <clears throat> so today, I thought I would do my January empties. I know I'm a little late. I know, but. One light is better than never. And two, I think I'm gonna do it once a month to avoid the clutter. So I'm going to start with the foundation I'm wearing. Let me set you up right there. The foundation I'm wearing is this. The wonderful, wonderful Born This Way Foundation. This foundation is let's just say it this way. Let me just put it this way rather. I understand the ridiculous amount of hype that this foundation or the amount of praise that this foundation has gotten. And once again, it's the Born This Way Foundation. Oh! I didn't tell you that the shade, it's in the shade Nude. And although it's amazing, I, because I love it, it's an amazing foundation. It's really high covered and I hope you can understand me because they're mowing the lawn of next door the next door's lawn so it's really loud So I really hope you can understand me. Now these, these are the micellar water facial wipes. These come in a blue packet, as you can see. These are really good, really, really good. They don't smell like other facial wipes at all. Like the traditional ones, they actually smell perfume like a cologne but one I love the smell of cologne and cologne and two these are so incredibly soft so I'm 
definitely going to repurchase these. These are winning my heart at the moment. Oh, and by the way, if I could afford to born this way, the whole bottle, I will buy it. Not I would, I will. I would and I will buy it again. I finally, finally finished an eyeshadow in my life. It's completely gone. This was a Max Studio uh, eyeshadow. It was really pretty, really, really pretty. It was like a in here they looked. It looked kind of like a medium brown, but then on the swatch, they looked. It looked. Exactly like the uh, highlighter in Moonstone by Becca. These, this is a travel size. It's point twenty five ounces. And I finished this in a month. So this is a vessel. I used to use it as a chapstick. Because I couldn't figure out on a, a better way to use it. If you do know a better way to use it, let me know. I finished this. This is a Sally Hansen. It was this was a Sally Hansen. It was supposed to be a top coat, but I wanted to DIY this, <clears throat> and I turned it into a glitter. I put loose glitter inside with a funnel, and let me say. It doesn't work at all because all the glitter just stains the liquid and it turned it blue in this case and it doesn't do much and it doesn't transfer onto the nail at all. I finished this lip gloss by Mark. Let me show you. Oh. I took the applicator out because the applicator was removable and I took it out and I scraped everything out 
as much as I could, but I loved it. It was beautiful. It had a lot of multicolored glitters, and it looked beautiful. But this was yuck. This was a Milani glass. Everything rubbed off, but I still remember this was by Milani. It was a Christmas gift. I hated it so much because it was incredibly liquidy. Like, oh, I hated it so much. Ugh, it was so liquidy. You could feel it in the inside of your mouth. And you could almost taste it. Ugh. Anyway. I heard this was unavailable in the States as if now. But you're not missing much. I didn't like this whatsoever. Just no. Even if you go out somewhere and you happen to stumble across this, don't get it. It, it was awful. So that's it, guys. I'll see you probably later or tomorrow. Bye.